everybody, it's Christina DeJanae, and today is my last day of my internship. And this video is going to be a whole bunch of clips over the summer that I took during my summer internship at Dominion Energy. And I hope you guys will be able to capture the experience that I've had as an intern here. It's been a great experience. I learned so much and I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm so thankful um, for Dominion Energy for giving me this internship. It was a great experience and also I was a recipient of the diversity scholarship. So I just wanna spread the word about Dominion Energy and um, for people that want a job over the summer, you should really sign up and try to get an internship here because it is a great experience. Hey y'all, it's Christina DeJanae and right now I'm out running some errands but I looked at the time and I realized it's like 3 o'clock and I need to call Dominion Energy soon to accept my internship offers. I think they're calling. <laughs> Hello. Yes. I'm good. I was actually just about to call you. Um Yeah. Um oops, okay. So I spoke to my parents and I have a couple of questions before I accept. <clears throat> Okay, um, so about the scholarship at the end, um, so where does the grant, it does it, would it go straight to Virginia State University? So no, it would actually go straight to you via your, essentially your last paycheck, so it doesn't, it doesn't go to the university, it, it goes to you for you to use, you know, towards whatever, whatever you feel you need to use it for. Okay, great. Okay. My next question is, um, do you already have housing set up or like housing that you suggest for your summer interns? It's up to you to ultimately decide where you're going to stay, but there'll be sort of a resource there to help you figure that out a little bit. Okay, cool. And that will, and okay, so you said that information will be in the letter that I'm going to get. That's correct. Okay. Yeah, My next question is, what is the actual location that I would be working at in Richmond? So, let me find it for you here. I apologize, I have to go back into the actual requisition real quick. Give me one second. Okay. You will report to um, Kamika Green. I believe she was in your interview, and it'll be at the actual Petersburg office. The Petersburg office? Oh, okay. I think that's all the questions that I had. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and I would like to accept the offer. I'm really excited. Awesome. Well, that's, that's great news. I know um, the team will definitely be excited to hear uh, that you, you want to come and join them this summer. So um, what I'm going to do, like I just mentioned, is as soon as we hang up the phone, I'm going to go through and actually create a contingent offer letter for you. Um, that offer letter will have, you know, the pay range, it'll have the scholarship information as well as that line about housing. So you'll need to go and reach out to, it's Maggie Hogue, who's actually the, the housing for a coordinator here for us. Um, so you'll need to go ahead and reach out to her to get the housing process initiated. Okay. Um, and then it'll also have a couple contingencies that are on the offer, which um, are, are pretty standard. You need to maintain, obviously, above a 2.5 GPA. drug screen so those are sort of the, the three main contingencies on the actual offer for you okay with that all being said do you have any additional questions for me no sound good 
Yes, thank you so okay. much. Absolutely. Congratulations mm. again, and we look forward to having you here this summer. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. Good morning, you guys. <laughs> As you can see, I'm not in my home. I am in Richmond at my uncle's house because I have an internship. So, <laughs> currently I'm getting ready. I have one eyebrow done. But, yeah, I have to hurry up. It's like 6.40 and I'm trying to leave at 7.15. So, okay, I have to make sure Leroy doesn't try to get past me. This is Leroy, everyone. This is Leroy Jenkins. Say hello. <laughs> okay, I gotta go. I'll lock the door. This is my car, everyone. Well, my rental car. Man, I should have grabbed the jacket. I literally have like 20 minutes to get ready um, I'm not putting on makeup today I'm just gonna take a quick shower and get in the car go you know you know usually the first day I wear makeup you know to give a good impression and after that I'm just like hey y'all what's up and I'm <laughs> I'm so tired. I have to leave by 7.15. Like, it's it's no discussion. Like, at least 7.20. Like, oh no. I need to hurry up and get in the shower. the first site that we're at and we are looking at these two poles and yeah so I'm not really sure of all the terminology and stuff yet but we just oh, but we just been look o looking over like the top one is the primary then this second one you guys can see then this so the top one is primary the second one is neutral and um yeah they just been talking about that stuff and a client here this is gonna be like a trash something and he's gonna need power so we're gonna use either one of these poles and it's gonna be like an underground an underground uh, connection, I guess. I'm not sure of all the um, terminology that you guys are gonna learn and how we should connect it onto the meter thing. And this is the meter.
Thank you.